All right, time to go back out to the fair where Ali Lucia is standing by. Ali, it seems like a really nice day. Overcast, not too hot. Thank you, Kim. We do have a lot of Vikings fans in the crowd, and I know they're excited to step inside that new Vikings stadium. Well, we're here to talk about butterflies. The monarch butterfly population is down nearly 90% in the last 25 years, and I'm joined by Ward Johnson. He is a executive director of Save Our Monarchs Foundation. And why did you decide to start this foundation, and what is your hope to do and maybe help this monarch butterfly population? Well, the, in the intent of our, of our, of our uh, foundation is to make pe get people to plant the milkweed seeds because they're down 90 percent, as you said, since 1992, and they're, uh, and, they're heading, and they're heading south right now. So basically, my wife and I, uh, we've, we've now put these out on our website, which is SaveOurMonarchs.org, and we've put out over 2 million of these seed packets to all the people across the country. So you just have to go to our website and request them and you get them for free if you send a self-addressed stamped envelope. So it's a, it's a nice program, it's a nice thing, and we intend to stay with it for a long time. So how has this effort worked to help kind of preserve and save the population and continue to help it increase? It's hard to know. It, it, this has never been done before. So we, there's a lot of people that are really, really involved with trying to help the monarch butterflies. And we're just doing our small part. You know, everybody, if, you're, if you do nothing, then you do nothing. If you do something, you do something. So we, we decided to do something about it. So it's a very good program. It's great stuff. Why are you and your wife so passionate about this cause? Well, I grew up in western Minnesota out near Wilmer. We're a third tier suburb of Wilmer called Clara City. Um, and we had, we always, we had, my mother was, uh, she never went to, went to, to bed with clean hands. She was an inveterate uh, gardener, and she spent her whole life with her hands in the, in the soil. And so we had monarch butterflies all around us, and now they've just kind of dissipated, disappeared, and they're gone. So we're trying to bring them back. And it's crazy. These butterflies migrate nearly 3,000 miles every year. Uh, and what else? I know you're, we're going to be passing out these seeds to the crowd, but how can just even planting some of this mil milkweed go and help towards this effort? Well, it, 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 we do a one, one milkweed seed at a time. So we put out over, I think, over 50 million seeds so far to people across the country. And we're hoping everyone puts them into their garden or into wherever it is that they have, a golf course or river or whatever, lakeside place. It just, we just need to get them put in the ground. We don't give these away for nothing. We give them away because we want you to plant them. So actually, I have 150 disciples across the country we call them evangelists that help us to to convey this message to all the people along the along the whole, the whole mississippi flyway and those are those monarchs that fly south from here in in the fall they go non-stop from here to to mexico then they breed down there and and the same monarchs the, their, their their progeny comes back up and they find their way right back to the same place that their that their parents did without even ever having been there before very cool stuff well ward thank you for joining us